look at this shade. Like when people are scared to give us that deep depth that we need, trust a black woman to give us the deep depth that we need, okay? Hey! I was told to try a brand called Worthy We Cosmetics because they had bronzers. So I went ahead and I ordered their four deepest bronzers so we can try it out and see what they're all about. But before we jump into it, I'm gonna tag everything I use in this video right here. So definitely check that view products tag. If it's not there, I will be tagging it down below in the description. Both links are affiliate. So anytime you click it and you buy from it, you're gonna be supporting this channel. Thank you. Let's talk a little bit about Worthy We because I literally know nothing about them, okay? Worthy We is a black owned brand by a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous woman called Beverly Bigelow Nagy. So on the Worthy We website, it says they are Worthy We Cosmetics and they believe in doing beauty the right way. Everything in their brand is 100% biodegradable, which means that if it goes to the landfill, it's going to break down and return to the soil. We love that. And they promise to always remain vegan and cruelty-free. I know that that's very important in the beauty community. And some brands are not entirely 100% vegan. Now a little bit about their Brontor Cream Bronzers. So there are 10 shades of the Brontor Cream Bronzers and I actually picked up the four deepest shades so we can try it out, swatch it, see what we can do with them. I have actually used bronzer as foundation before so if the formula is beautiful and I have a really good shade match, I have no problems using one of them as my foundation. Like I will do it. A little bit about the Brontor it says it's a cream bronzer that doubles as contour. So I'm guessing if you find the right shade, it could be deep enough and cool enough for you to use as a contour. Or if a shade that is a bit more on the warm side, you can use it as a bronzer. It's a plant-based formula that builds and blends seamlessly. It's light as air and instantly melts into skin and gives a perfect amount of warmth, okay? Without harsh lines, creases, or clogging pores. I don't know that they can claim that it's not gonna give you harsh lines because I think the blender or whoever's blending the product is the one that's going to be able to determine about harsh lines because if you don't blend your products properly you are going to get those harsh lines okay now that we know a little bit about Brontor Let's go ahead and swatch. Let me do my best explanation of a bronzer that I know, okay? From what I know, a bronzer is a product that is slightly warm, that gives you a look like you've been in the sun, more like a tan, that's how I would explain it. On dark skin, however, bronzers are very difficult to achieve without overdoing it. Sometimes it's too warm to where it looks more like a blush, and sometimes it's too cool to where it looks more like a... Contour, I guess it just depends on what you like. See, I'm gonna swatch it from the deepest shade. Look at this shade. Like when people are scared to give us that deep depth that we need, trust a black woman to give us the deep depth that we need. This is the shade she's taking it. It melts under my fingers so beautifully. This is that shade. This is, ooh. This is not a shade that was just added so that you can try to mix other things and make it darker. This is a standalone shade. This is a shade that you can literally pick up your package and use. Like for all my dark skin sisters out here who can't find bronzes that are deep enough for you to use or contour that is deep enough for you to use. Honey, Worthy We, okay, Worthy We. Like, Worthy We came out of the gate swinging. Okay, we're gonna swatch the second shade. This is called Bust Down. Come on, honey, wake up. I think this is gonna be my shade. Ooh, okay. This will give me a beautiful, beautiful bronze slash contour, depending on what I am trying to achieve. Okay, next we're gonna swatch the third deep, the third deeper shade. This is called Role model. Okay, so the third shade is more along the lines of a skin tone shade for me. The fourth deepest shade might also be a skin tone shade for me. These would be such gorgeous foundation shades, like blended in. This is the shade Snatched. They're pretty. They'll definitely work as beautiful bronzer contours on somebody who is much lighter than me. But on my skin tone, 
tone, they're coming off as skin tone shades, okay? So we're gonna focus our attention on the two deeper shades that she offers. Anybody who is my skin tone or deeper will be able to make these two shades work. Listen, dark skin girlies, just know that these two shades will work for you. I am here for these two shades. Like straight out of the gate, worthy we, like this is, this is impressive. This is what we need, okay? We need that inclusivity to just come with it. It should be part of the range, a nice graduation of shades. We don't want to feel like we would just add it to the end. Like, you know, all these gorgeous brown shades and then deep shade. Like, there's no shade graduation. This is given shade graduation. Whoever told me to try Worthy We Thank You because, because I have found my new contour. I'm very impressed by these two shades. I need to go back and try her blushes and all these other products that she has because this is really nice. If this is an indication of what her cream blushes are gonna be, they're gonna be pigmented. I'm gonna go ahead and do a skin routine and then we will go ahead and try these bronzers and see what they look like and they are very pigmented so one advice that i will give you is uh, use a fluffy brush i'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin with one size secure the blur primer so i'm gonna add some bronze bombshell to my under eyes just a little bit next we're going in with our foundation we're gonna go in with our concealer and now it's time for us to try these Worthy We Brontours. All I know is the deeper shade is too deep for me. I can say that with my chest. I am gonna go in with Bust Down because Bust Down is the second deeper shade. This is Bust Down and this is She's Taking It, okay? She's Taking It is that deeper shade. I am just tapping into it. If you want to use this as a bronzer, you're gonna apply it on your, the parts of your face where you apply your blush, okay? For me, for me, that's gonna be on the upper part of my cheekbone. You see this line? right here this is why i generally apply my contour and then up here is why i apply my blush so because this is gonna be a bronzer i'm gonna apply halfway between the two parts of my face and i'll just blend it in and see what we see this is just like a slight layer of it it's showing up you can see that it's showing up it is deep also remember this is cream and i already put powder down i'm also just tapping ever so lightly into it and i'll use some on my forehead it's showing up. Now how intensely it's showing up, it's gonna depend on you. It's definitely buildable. I'm gonna use it as a contour almost and just try to get my jawbone to snatch a little more than it actually is. I'm being very careful with this. Also go in very light-handed with it. That way I can build it up and not have to figure out a way to take some away. I just tap into it like this and blend it in. You know, you can see like it's there. I need to blend it in properly, but it's there. So you can put it under your jawbone and just blend it slightly down so it can give you that shadow that you need. Everything needs to be blended in. You can't just have a line of bronzer or contour on your jaw. Like, it's not gonna look good. If I look at you straight on, you can see that my left side cheek looks... When I turn to the side, it's like, oh, 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 you know? I don't need to set it because it's not too creamy. I feel like when I put my blush on, that is going to help it just melt in a lot better. It is beautiful. The tone of it is nice. It blends beautifully into my base and I don't have to do too much to get it to look good. It doesn't have a purple tone. Worthy, we definitely did that. If you have trouble finding a bronzer, definitely check out Worthy We. Okay, I said I wasn't gonna use She's Taken It, but I'm gonna use She's Taken It on the right side of my face because I used a deeper product over there. Wee. This is that shade you don't mess with. If you're gonna use it, do like I did. Go in, blend some, take some off on your hand before applying it to your face. I feel like it has more of a natural finish compared to like a radiant finish, even though it is a cream product. We're using Juvia's Place Blush Rouge Volume 5. Guys, this is my finished look trying out Worthy We Bronze Wars. I like it. I'm definitely gonna be using it more. I will leave the link to Worthy the we and also all the shades that I swatched down below so you can check them out if you have trouble finding a good bronzer for you or a good contour or if you're in the market for a new contour or if you want to support a small up-and-coming brand definitely check out Worthy We. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about the shades that I swatched and the shades that I tried. Thank you so much for watching. Love you lots and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!